today we are seeing one of the hottest apartments you can get in Astoria, Queens. We're talking three bedrooms, two bathrooms, a balcony in a luxury building with a roof deck, a gym, and it's practically on top of the train. Super convenient. In Manhattan, something like this would cost twice as much as this place, but is this going to be worth it? Only one way to find out. And right before we check out this awesome building, apartment, and neighborhood, you need to check out rentcity.co where you can read reviews of actual apartments written by the people who've lived there before you waste your time traveling to apartments that don't turn out to be as nice as this one. Follow the link in the description and if you review your last apartment, you might even win a free month of rent. Here we are in the apartment and this place is amazing. It just started raining, but the good thing is that the subway train station to get to and from Manhattan is just a six minute walk from the building. And that's great. You can be at Midtown in 30 minutes and everything you're gonna need is right by the train. After you get off, there's a grocery store, there's a couple of discount stores, along with a bunch of restaurants and shops. If you wanna hang out with friends, or just get groceries and live and maintain your existence, that'll all be super easy because everything is pretty much right there. But also, we're in a gorgeous brand new building that also has a ton of cool stuff. Can we access the game room? Okay, it's kind of like a game room slash residence lounge. Got this nice looking pool table right here. The sticks are all nice and straight, that's good. There's also a bookshelf and it looks like you can watch movies. Reading selection could be filled out a bit more, I guess. But with emotional intelligence, what more do you need? I think this goes back here. Definitely, if you wanted to have people over, throw a party, this could be used for that. It looks like there's also parking here. Yeah, look at that. There's a parking lot right behind the building. Most buildings Buildings, no parking. There's also a gym in the basement. You've got a bunch of cardio equipment, medicine balls. You got a couple of machines. This isn't bad. The weights look pretty heavy. Let's see what we got. Okay, 50 pounds for me. That would be heavy, but I don't work out. So maybe it's not, maybe I could easily lift those weights. We'll never know. There's also laundry right down here in the basement. Plenty of machines. It's like having your own laundromat, which means you do not have to leave to get your clothes clean. And this looks like R for roof. Okay, it says that we're here. Oh man, this is one of the best roof decks I think you could ask for. Look at that view of Manhattan. That is fantastic. You can see downtown, midtown, and uptown all in one shot. This also wraps around the entire building, so you have a 360 degree view. There's the church across the street from the building. You can also see some of the bridges leading out of the city. You can try to work from home while getting distracted by the view. Great background for Zoom calls. Love how they've got plants up here, that's hot. A lot of roof decks, it's just concrete, nothing cool. That's cool. Also, look at how big this is. I don't see a grill, but you could probably bring one up here. There's plenty of space. Ah, geez, it started raining again. All right, we're going back inside. Is this a balcony? Took me a second to open that, but look at this, you got a little balcony. It's not facing the street either, so it's gonna be super quiet. And if you have a car in the parking lot, you can check it out. Someone hit my car right on the driver's side. If that person had rented this apartment, they would have known about that. If you have fun watching this, hit that thumbs up and make sure you subscribe. I make apartment tours like this every week and I don't want you to miss one. There's the front door and here is the living room. It is combined with the kitchen, but the kitchen takes up almost no space. From the windows to the countertop, we've got 14 feet 4 inches by 14 feet 11 inches. Your couch could go against this wall by that window, and that means right over here by the kitchen, you could have a dining table right next to it. That gives you two spots for your television. If you want one, you can mount it on this wall or on this wall. But if you mount it there on like a swing arm and you can kind of tilt it out, you'll be able to see it from anywhere in this room. This hallway is also five and a half feet wide and a TV flat on the wall or tilted slightly shouldn't cause any issues. Unless 
unless the people you live with are drunks and bump into things. I absolutely love this kitchen. It's got all high-end appliances. The fridge has two freezers. We've got a massive oven, an equally massive microwave. There's a dishwasher. And how could they build a brand new building without a sink sprayer? If the apartment didn't have this, I might have had to cancel the tour. Cabinet space here is also fantastic. And look at all this counter space for kitchen appliances you don't need, like a Keurig or a bread maker. Look at that oven, it makes bread. We've also got video intercom. It looks like this one will let you call neighbors in the building. That's handy, my neighbor, his music's always way too loud and this would let me call him without having to leave and go knock on his door. All three bedrooms are right next to each other and these rooms are all great. The first room is 12 feet four inches by eight feet three inches. All these windows are facing east. No street view, which means they'll all be super quiet. And this room in particular will fit any size bed you want. Best spot's gonna be over here by the window. And if the bed's over here, you could put dressers or a desk against that wall. Let's check out the storage space. This closet's pretty big. It goes back far. Plus you've got two spots for overhead storage. Each room's got its own heater. You press those buttons to change the temperature of that thing, which means you don't have to have an AC. The second room is this one that has the balcony. This room's eight feet, four inches by 12 feet, seven inches. Similar layout to the first room, but since this door opens up and you're gonna wanna use it, you're gonna want the bed over here against this wall. Luckily, the door opens in the opposite direction. And if your bed's over there, nothing's gonna stop you from enjoying that view. The closet that we've got here looks to be about the same as what we just looked at. Overhead storage, hangar space, not bad. But if it's not enough, over here between these two doors, you could definitely fit some extra storage. The third room is right around the corner over here. And this is pretty good too. Eight feet, 11 inches by 12 feet, three inches. The setup in here is gonna be the same as both rooms we looked at because the window and the closet are in the exact same space. It's definitely refreshing to see a three bedroom apartment where all three rooms are pretty good and it's not like one room totally sucks. I'd be happy with either of these. We've also got two baths and these are both identical full size baths. Here's the first. Here's the second, I don't see any difference. Both of them have huge bathtubs, which you could actually use. The sinks are big, and not only is there storage beneath the sink, each of these has a huge medicine cabinet. Look at that. There's like a button or something. I think this is supposed to light up, but since I'm not familiar with futuristic alien technology like this, we'll just have to use our imagination because I can't seem to get it to work. Each of these has the soap shelf, and even though there's no window in either room, there is a fan, so keeping these well ventilated is gonna be easy. And if you're looking for a nice large apartment in a gorgeous brand new building, check out the video description for a link to the landlord's contact info. And then pick another apartment tour right here and I'll see you in the next video.